First and foremost, welcome to all y'all to this wonderful, international, vibrant hip hop community. Um, the idea for this project entitled The Cypher is to expand our artistry, our horizons, our studies, our knowledge, our understanding of life beyond our cities, our countries, even our continent, knowing that we are a global hip hop community and that we have similar stories throughout. And this project is to help facilitate that dialogue and to connect us with youth, elders, from musicians, artists, revolutionaries, to learn from each other, build and create together. Hip-Hop ist halt einfach eine, eine, eine sehr gute Plattform, die Menschen verbinden kann. Und dadurch, dass Hip-Hop eine Kultur wirklich ist und nicht einfach nur eine Musikrichtung, ähm, schweißt das viel enger zusammen. Man, man hat die gleichen Interessen, man kennt die gleichen Geschichten über irgendwelche Rapper, man hat die gleichen Sachen erlebt, wie man auf der Bühne stand und das erste Mal vielleicht aufgeregt war oder so. Das erste Mal Studio, da habe ich jetzt auch mit einem gequatscht. Das erste Mal jetzt hier im Studio, dass, es, dass er alleine in der Kabine auf ist und das, sondern wirklich, er kann machen wie er das möchte und das ist doch, das ist doch schön, das ist doch, geil. das ist doch geil, dann kann er was aufnehmen, das heißt es gibt ein Produkt, er hat was für sich gewonnen, für sein Herz, man hört eine schöne Geschichte, lernt jemanden noch besser kennen, also quasi Win-Win-Win-Situation. <lacht> Der Strom, die Batterien, sehr geil. Auch hier mit, mit, mit Flow mäßig das unterstützen. Ne? Wie der Strom, die Batterien, wie der Strom, die Batterien, also dass er richtig bounced. Ja, warum sind die ganzen Leute rechts abgetan und wie sind da? Im Endeffekt wird es die rechte Zähne schon links nicht mehr geben, wenn die Schule nicht da unter den Stoff geben würde, den Kindern und Jugendlichen mit Hitler und Hitler. Weil ein Lehrer von äh, Schule gut über Hitler, ja, Hitler, ey, der war ein guter Mann und dies und das, ey, schon voll. Ja, teilweise Lehrer sind teilweise drauf, teilweise reden die ja so über Hitler und teilweise sind, genau, und andere, und andere wieder negativ. Hast du so welche gesehen? Ich hab schon mal einen gehabt früher. Okay, das ist heftig. Ähm also es gibt Leute, die reden negativ und es gibt Leute, die reden positiv über den. Und im Endeffekt, wenn Kinder das alles mitbekommen, im Endeffekt, dass Kinder dann noch gar nicht das Wissen von dem, was wirklich war in der Geschichte. Haig was working with Kortrenk um, on that theme and Gangway was working um, with uh, Antwerp on that theme. So that's something that we can ideally uh, finish or work on today. Really to uh, create content, meaning record, create blogs. There's a bunch of computers here which we'll use, so obviously not everybody can be in the booth at the same time. So the rest of the time, We advise you, and, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it, um, but to use as effectively as possible to write a blog, to upload some pictures, um, and to write in case uh, that is necessary. So, wir haben ziemlich Glück, dass wir Doreen mit im Team haben. Also, wenn es eine Führungsperson bei uns gibt, so der, die ein bisschen den Ton ansagt, dann würde ich als erstes Doreen auf jeden Fall nennen. Zum Glück haben wir Spirit Child auch noch dabei, der wirklich auch noch mal. Ähm, konzentrierter alles angehen möchte und wirklich sagt, okay, wir machen das jetzt und kein rumgeeiert. Ich finde die Tagesabläufe schön strukturiert, es ist viel, viel unterschiedlich, man kann viel machen, ähm, es wird eigentlich nie langweilig und das äh, Feeling ist halt immer geil. Es ist halt immer, natürlich immer so, wenn man Zeit mit einer Gruppe verbringt, dann wächst man automatisch zusammen, aber dadurch, dass halt noch Hip-Hop dabei ist und dass viele verschiedene Elemente da sind, dass es hier noch Künstler gibt und dass einfach alle so einen Bock auf eine gute Stimmung haben, ähm, 
läuft auch die äh, Kooperation ziemlich gut. Also ich meine, alle versuchen irgendwie mit Händen und Fuß, Füßen miteinander zu quatschen, alle machen Witze miteinander ähm, und ich denke mal, dass alle eine gute Zeit haben. Of a rebellious mind comes to speak the truth for you. We want to cut the ropes at the puppet master's hall. See the revolution going forward as the truth unfolds. As the truth unfolds. Cause we want to cut the ropes at the puppet master's hall. See the revolution going forward as the truth unfolds. I think I'm out of inspiration because I'm satisfied. So when I look at the skies, I suddenly realize it's the feeling of a positive perception. I try to get the fight. Weird shit happening in the back of my mind Where the physical condition gets left behind But it's not at the sight, it's wrestling From the endless waves of emotions that are coming from the inside But that's why In the status quo, when the world is spilled So we learn a few more, but that's not in still Shit, I see a flick that's a match Is bright for nothing to run and dodge Shit, it's a bad thing What the fuck's with this world? I must forever write down what I feel is true The voice of a rebellious mind comes to speak the truth for you We want to cut the ropes at the puppet master's hall See the revolution going forward as the truth unfolds As the truth unfolds We want to cut the ropes at the puppet master's hall See the revolution going forward as the truth unfolds It's not just music, it's um, developing yourself as an artist and as a person, as in working in groups, as in an organization. We learn so much more than just having the chance to make music with other people from other countries. It's just, uh, like you say, with, with self-reflection and such. So you really learn from yourself, you really learn from others, and that's the, the whole good thing about it. It's a uh, psychological test for itself. offer is the place, the, the, the support where needed, uh, the, the communication, you can help artists to communicate about them, you can put them in contact with professional, professionals, you can do the, 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 the having them meet each other and so on. But we don't tell people how to perform their art, in which language, what medium, or <coughs> we don't define it for them whatsoever. We, there's no definition. So we also want in that way, get away from the old fashioned definitions of what is art and what is culture. We want to let the definition itself breathe again. We want to let people redefine uh, even the, the words and the concepts. And so right now, where do you get like, the, the funding for this? We don't. We don't have any funding whatsoever. Everyone working here does it on a volunteer basis. No one is paid. But the income from the bar is what we pay our invoices with. Okay. So that's why we have the bar and why we sell drinks. And that's working like a random or... Not enough. We just started this in February. And we've just done an evaluation uh, last week. Mm -hmm. It's not working enough. What we have noticed is that when we have artistic events in the evening, then it's okay. Okay. So if we have more artistic more events, we'll have enough from the bar yeah. to pay the rent. Having the right guidance, but also uh, being pushed 20 steps behind the line exactly. with not having the resources. If you go to Molenbeek 
um, I would love for, for us to, to be there, but you, you can see that the conditions also in schools and housing and so on is not the basic human elements that are there to flourish as a person in the first place are not met. Exactly. So, yeah, that, that is something I'm actually very, uh, for, for me, it's really, really a mystery why the young people of Lombok are not in the streets in the streets breaking things all the time. Yeah. It's really a mystery to me. I was living in Paris for a long time and you had in 2005, you had the riots in the Bonnieu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 2005, it's been like this since the 50s, 60s, these conditions kept getting worse yes. and worse yes. and worse and it takes over 50 years, years for, people, for to people to get violent. Yeah. Like and people are still surprised. Uh, yeah. like, how could this happen? Like how could this not happen 20 years before? Have you ever been there? Yes. I mean, this is That's my thought exactly. It's a yeah. mystery that there's not much more violence. Yeah. And it's a mystery how people don't get it because what 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 other issue do you have? They don't but know better. It's like especially especially when you've tried all the other means. We, we we're being told we're in a democratic country. You have democratic ways of showing that you're not that you're frustrated and that you're not content. Use them. It's impossible to say Looking for countries that are a fluid brain Cause they're looking for a place where they wait for the rain Ik ben een vluchteling, ik ben aan het vluchten sinds Mensen, mijn stad omwouden tot de kerk of al zeg maar doodskist Ik hoop dat ik ooit nog iets vind dat ik een thuis kan noemen Niet voor mij, maar voor mijn eigen kind Ja, ik heb moeten vluchten, ik heb moeten lopen Alles moeten achterlaten om hierheen te komen Gewoon het kopen op een stand zonder bombardementen of doden Hopen dat er nu eindelijk een licht komt dat ik kan volgen Want ik ben hier niet alleen, ik draag mijn zoon op mijn rug She's not feeling safe, looking for place in a haven The one danger is to cross the goddamn nation It's over the wave, she's scared the wind is racing She praying to God Let my child be safe And she holding him tight Arms around like a cave And she told him he's fine Don't worry mom's here baby But deep inside she knows That she can replace the Things left behind But her mind's still patient She more than a refugee I see an angel Waar ze ingewikkeld raken Even speel mijn adem Om over dingen zoals dit te praten Fok de stad Want ze kunnen ons niks meer maken Ze stellen je op de proef Ik beheers de smaak Is weer een schrimmig deze dagen Je moet me niks simpels vragen Zo ik toch geloof in Sinterklaas Tijd voor een toespraak van Wie kan me uitleggen waar de wereld naartoe gaat En kan iemand begrijpen dat dit alles moe moe maakt Ze zeggen iedereen is gelijk maar ik voel de haat Hallo, ik ben Smoka, ik begrüß die belgische Mannschaft Stop, stop, Teil, wir zeigen euch Berlin mal anders Ein Leben in Berlin in fünf Tagen zwischen hoch und tief Wie seht ihr euer Leben? Ich hoffe für euch positiv Dein Leben geht im Bach unter, wenn du an der Schore ziehst Wir sind das achte Weltwunder, man nennt uns Gang Babies Am 2. November chillen wir schon auf dem roten Teppich Und jetzt kommen die Belgier und rappen dir auf Flames Fette Beats, Zeit du Raps, die Straßen zum Dancen Vom Alexanderplatz zum Kiez, vom Freestyle zum Bellen in den Neuköllner Karten auf dem Dach parken und dann mit Panoramablick ein Improfilm starten die Kraft des Hip Hop spüren wie die Götter es wollen auf den Rhythmus hören die Wörter schreiben und beleuchten alles im Einen drei Länder drei Kulturen Dreisamkeit Dreisamkeit verbindet alles Cypher der Kreis los komm wir setzen einen Kant ich zeig dir meine Gegend und du brauchst nen Stift und Blatt schreib Zeilen auf Singer und Reime zum Tag bist du bereit ich zeig dir meine Stadt Komm wir setzen einen Kant Ich zeig dir meine Gegend und du brauchst nur Stift und Blatt Schreib Zeilen auf Singer und Reime zum Tag Bist du bereit? Ich zeig dir meine Stadt Wir rocken die Straßen, wir spaßen Denn nur im Maßen mit Phrasen anerkannter Maßen Gibt es Props von Jungen halt gleichermaßen Vergiss das Schlafen, ansonsten wird dich dein Glück bestrafen Komm wir rasten aus, ignorieren Limits zum Paragrafen Kultureller Austausch ich Zeige dir mein Gehege, in dem ich lebe, mich bewege und mein Bestes gebe Auf all diesen Wegen Auf die wir uns begeben Streben nach Glück und Segen Das Cypher, wir sind der Zeit zugegen Yes, es gibt so viel zu tun Ab in der Bar oder in den Club Das Nachtprogramm im Flug Jeder Abend ein Genuss Und tagsüber 
Lassen Sie die Seele baumeln, rollen unser Gras in Tüten, chillen können wir eh gebrauchen. Neues Input durch die Gäste, neues Output auch. Gut, kenne euch noch nicht, doch weiß schon, Belgien ist auch gut. Yes, ah, uh, ich weiß, das wird eine gute Zeit. Eine der Erinnerungen, die nicht nur eine Minute bleibt. Los, komm, wir setzen einen Kant. Ich zeig dir meine Gegend und du brauchst einen Stift und Blatt. Schreib Zeilen auf Singer und Reime zum Tag. Bist du bereit? Ich zeig dir meine Stadt. Komm, wir setzen einen Kant. Ich zeig dir meine Gegend und du brauchst einen Stift und Blatt. Schreib Zeilen auf Singer und Reime zum Tag. Bist du bereit? Ich zeig dir meine Stadt. And the Lina Spirit Show learned so much from the first week that from then on we can build a base to, to make it better and it's still a process that's going on, I think, like everything, <laughs> everything in life is just processing. In Belgium, they, they rip all the people off, you know, like all people getting poor, poor, racism, like stuff I see with my own eyes so I can, with my lyrics I can tell them or say, uh, make them think different about it, you know, like, like we all know stuff but always different stuff yeah, yeah with police on the street soldiers and stuff so i think that like the bombs in, in universal it's just a it's just a, a thing to make people more scared you know and, and, and the government using that product to to make people scared you know so and that's why i write about it a lot because i i, I think it's wrong you know because now, now like with the bombs in the Zaventem, you have no more racism like, like belgian people say oh you know there's this thing like the woman want to be all respected but act like woman now you know that you get respect but it's the same thing with yeah. the man yeah it's act true like it's true you have more empathy like Everybody can do something wrong or get into a situation that she became a bitch. Huh? Yeah. You should understand why. Yeah. Why is she like that? Yeah. Huh? Then you write something positive about it. Because maybe you can feel like she is a bitch, but um, don't say you are a bitch. Why is she like that? Yeah. Huh? Like you yeah. that? Women, think of women as our analogy in general, right? Like politics, all that stuff, right? And think of when we talked about earlier, what we're expressing is pain right so we have to think not only what you're saying is why that woman's a bitch oh, but why do we perceive like, her yeah. like that yeah what yeah. do we go through in our lives that we feel that women mm -hmm. aren't worthy of our praise right and that, mm -hmm. that's deal with pain with pain and somebody that mentioned something about uh uh women in hip-hop blah blah 98 of my cypher is women so I don't know what you're talking about as far as the world of hip hop or whatever, but in my community, the people that I organize with, that I do shows with, that are my comrades, 98% of them are women. Then you've been like, blessed. You've been blessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, but I mean, it's the way is how how you interact. Like, what do you want to bring into the world? You're a smart guy. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Well, you, I hope that all of you are smart. You, you know. Um, um, I just have a lot of respect and I love yeah, my mom, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. But 90, 98% on New Black Rights Movement, when you see the stuff that we put out and things that we produce, a lot of our material comes with that. We, we consider ourselves, me and myself as well, a revolutionary nature. You don't have to be a woman to be that. You don't have to be a woman to be a feminist or whatever the case is. You don't have to be a woman for that. So think about those concepts and think about that translating into everything that you're doing. You don't have to be a refugee, right? To have solidarity and to have respect. Clearly not. You don't have to be black 
to understand the struggles or at least empathize with police brutality. Think of that concept pertaining to women and everything that you do, and I think you'll be all right. I think you'll be all right. So let's just try to keep it moving. <clears throat> It was all the week was very spiritual, you know. Normally, I, I, I look deeper in myself that week, you know, from uh, thanks to Spirit Child and all the rest of the group. Was yeah, skeptic about a lot of things, and then like when we go to the concentration camp and stuff, yeah, it, it was very intense and spiritual. It was very yeah, I grow as a person there, you know. Doing something and making progress, you know, in a, in a positive way for for the society, for the people, you know, for yeah, for your maintenance. Hey, come see Brendan. What you doing? <laughs> Don't let me stop. Yeah, one, two, two three. The cipher. Cypher Projekt bedient sich vieler Kommunikationsmöglichkeiten, aber hauptsächlich ähm, haben wir uns halt äh, immer über Skype oder über halt kleinere Reisen verständigt, wo dann wirklich die größeren Gruppen zusammenkommen konnten und wirklich mal äh, live sich austauschen. Hip-Hop und ähm, die Elemente des Hip-Hop uns selbst klar zu machen, uns zu verwirklichen damit und den Leuten zu zeigen, was wir so davon halten und dafür haben wir verschiedene Workshops gemacht und haben ähm, ja, Tracks entwickelt und Methoden, äh, Dinge zu betrachten und andere Denkweisen zu studieren. So we say black is broader than skin color. So black is a state of mind. Black is an ideology. So maroons can be white. They can be black. Uh, indigenous cultures. So how we define black today, and if I had said, well, why do you use black? Because it does seem like more exclusive and a divide. But because of that conversation, we chose to keep it because it has a historical context. And sometimes when you have something like it, we would have called ourselves the new cypher movement, right? People were like, okay, that's hip hop. Um, there's a connection there, but what do you stand for? What is your history? Where do you come from? So this actually saves a lot of conversation because if you talk to certain people who know their history, they know what a black arts movement is. It is, is all around us. It is definitely there. So it has never been... Um, to claim also that name and that space stands for something. And that also shows what we stand for. And if you want to roll with us, cool. If you don't, no love loss, you know? But it also shows what we stand for. And yeah, and it's, not, and it's not to say also not to be like, don't even go around being like, yeah, I'm a part of the new black arts movement, I'm black. Like, no. that's not a No, you know what I'm saying? I'm clear. No, no, no. To be honest, I, I actually say those things just when press and just people come at me, and they're like, you don't get it, you're white. Like, I'll act like this. To me, white. When do you see a white person? I actually do that to get them off guard, to make them go crazy, because that racism part, you know, it's from both sides. When I was young, I was growing grow, grow up with a lot of black friends. So for the white white people out of my neighborhood, I also uh, wanted to be black. And for the uh, dark skinned people in the neighborhood, I was uh, I was a white uh, crack. Both of the sides were just discriminating me. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just I'm just the road transparent. You know, it's like uh, what I'm trying to say is. The whole I, that's the, that's why I get the, I, uh, the idea of just call it the new black arts movement. Because for me, the word black is an idea I can 
relate myself with it in some kind of way. How I have to do this, the same struggle that I don't know. Yeah, but so there's a it's connection. Like you mean to keep on, keep on separating black from everything else. This is what it keeps on doing. This. And you, black, I don't know, it keeps it out instead of like, there's this conversation about white and black and white and all this fucking separation, but, sorry. But like, uh, oh, I'm not kidding. I'm swearing and doing this shit. But, but like, the, the, the real deal is like to go to the basic and to stop this separation of like, this is like, this is why I'm gonna find the. the, the yeah, but but don't think of it as separation, think of it as identity. Why, why do we call ourselves the hip hop community? We're separating ourselves from other genres of music. We're not. It's different to define yourself as a hip hop artist and the black person. What the hell does other mean? When you go to a place, when you go to a place, if you're mixed, if you're mixed and you look a little black, they're gonna treat you like you're black. They're not gonna treat you any other way. They're gonna treat you like you're black. That means you're gonna get discrimination, you're gonna get the whole thing. So people in the States who've never experienced racism, blah, 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 they're like, yeah, I understand, we just need to be blah, 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 live this world. Then they get harassed by the police. Why? Because they're black. Then they understand what a black experience is. Like it's a resolution, but we only know the truth. That's how they get the fucking proof. In. I'm back in the booth, making you move. We call it a fucking movement. Check out the news, think it was truth until we see the improvement. I tie knots to the loose ends with laces on my shoes and international crew, mask and chest one and the doodle. DJ smoke a sweet little G, we in the hood then. If anybody asks, like how you do it, we say we good then. It's not because of the cruise to be or the booze, but it's the two cent that I can put in your head and change the way that you look at. The future, the past, the cook and the master plan to keep a full head. Close your eyes and run it away is only what a fool did. A fool said, you better try to lay low in the tool shed. Screw that. Straight from the Hague with my co-host Some aka MC Sigga I dope We're gonna just entertain you with some dope hip hop and food to spill So we need a bar, but the tide stand not still Shit, I see the fleet as a mech is black For niks, there in a dorm schiet, slag, stick What the fuck is with this world mix? Must forever write down what I feel is true The voice of a rebellious mind comes to speak to you we want to cut the ropes that the popper masses hold See the revolution going forward as the truth unfolds As the truth unfolds What do you remember best? Like, I want to experience that again The, the youth exchange to Berlin Berlin was a fucking thing We went a week to Berlin and we got to know all these wonderful people We got the opportunity to go into the studio to shoot a video clip basically So, it was definitely my best experience Alright, right, dope, what kind of hip-hop you making? 
uh, anything like um, yeah, it can be different. Before I make like a lot of dope track like for about drugs and stuff, but uh, the last year I'm making about uh, society and stuff. Those are opportunities which you won't get in like one project usually. So it's very diverse, and I think that's what's special about it. You know, you know what it is in a week like this, you don't have to think about nothing. You know. Tonight we're gonna rock the show, and then hopefully be happy tomorrow, and can all go to our different homes, different countries, and have a lot to spread and a lot to talk about. <laughs> from yourself as well from each other I think that's the power of this project as well collaborating and trying to find a way to uh, collaborate in a good way in a positive way with a positive effect so let it influence your life and let it uh, guide your way through your artistic or personal uh, moments or being you know just be yourself and uh, let loose in the project it's definitely worth it Thing to say or to advise to the people who will come in the future to this amazing project is to keep true to themselves because there's a place for everyone and any kind of thinking way or, or perspective. Don't be afraid to bring yourself because it's like 
the best stage you can do it in. Trust yourself and trust the people that you're with. You know, because that's, that's the only thing we can do. Just trust each other and communicate with each other on the most honest level we can. We won't get anything without honesty and this is exactly the platform we should use to spread this honesty out. Practicing with what they are doing, keep bringing this beautiful music, keep they are practicing to get better, but especially don't always just rhyme about yourself. It's not about that we can rhyme because we can all rhyme in the end, but with the fact that there is a lot of things happening in the world, a lot of people are, are, are living in poverty or there is a lot of war going on, it's all affecting us all, so try to put that in your mood, music and try to give a message out to the world so we can have a positive message, so we can all learn from it and all get better or all get a better life. You need to try to communicate, you need to find a way to communicate. You can't just expect people to come towards you and do it for you because on the one hand that's not the intention of the project and on the other hand, come on man, you're old enough, <laughs> just, just, just do that shit. If you're an artist or you consider yourself an artist or somebody who has the goal of leading like an artist's life or and performing and getting music out and this and that, you won't get people to do it for you. Artists, as you echt, echt een cipher geeft, let goed op, luister goed, leer bij, en pak alle kansen met beide handen en tel wat jij hebt. Carry on what you